Welcome to another sneak peek of SolidWorks 2015 where today we're going to take a look at a powerful new ability to collaborate with people using other design software for different disciplines such as plant layout or factory design. To do this we're going to use the brand new export to AEC tool found inside of SolidWorks. To use this tool we need to define some of the characteristics of how it will interact in its final design software. So to do this, we can specify whether or not the component is based on the floor, the ceiling, or the wall. This component resides on the floor, and then we simply need to choose where will it rest on the floor. And in this case, we're going to choose one of these mounting pads. And then where we want the origin in the final design software, the plant layout software, to be. So once we get that done, we can go ahead and click Next. Now SolidWorks is going to go through the process of simplifying all this 3D data because in our plant design software we don't need all the details. We also might not want to share this because it's proprietary. So you can use SolidWorks's automated capability to set a high, medium, or low or you can define custom characteristics. Defining these characteristics as customs opens up a lot more options. So let's take a look at what these do. The first thing we'll do is we'll specify we want to suppress any internal components. Now keep in mind when you have a rather large opening on something like this skid, uh, it may have a hard time uh, disassociating components externally and internally. But likewise, we can also spe specify a size threshold, in this case 25%. To get an idea of where you're at, you can go ahead and click Update at any time and SolidWorks will go through the process and it'll analyze this and remove the components that meet this criteria. Once it's done hiding those components, you can see it's a much more simplified design. As I mentioned, some components might be misinterpreted as internal or external components. So SolidWorks also gives you the ability to select additional components. You'll notice when I select this tank internally, I can choose Update, and SolidWorks updates that preview for us. Now, if you remember, there were a few flanges externally here on the front and on the side. Now, we actually need those as connection points. So SolidWorks gives you the ability ability to go back and exclude components which were hidden using some of the rules above. To do this, we're going to go ahead and choose to show all the components. And we're going to select a few of the components that we need to retain. For example, the flange here and the flange here. Likewise, I'll keep the two tubes associated with those just so it looks nice. Likewise, this filter on the outside has a flange. And again, in this case, we'll just keep these components so it looks good. There's a few more on the back, but that's just for drainage, so we don't need to see those in this case. Once we have that set, all we need to do is go ahead and click Next, and SolidWorks is going to go ahead and update this again. Again, I could have clicked the Update button to view that. But SolidWorks now gives us the ability to specify any holes that, or features that we need to retain. For example, uh, SolidWorks will suppress any small features that it might see, but we need to retain this mounting hole pattern. So to do this, we can select the features manually. So for example, if I want to make sure that I keep these faces right here, I can select them. But likewise, we can also specify to choose holes between a certain size. In this case, I've specified between 0 and 25 millimeters. And you'll notice it's actually automatically gone through and selected those for us. Once you get that done, all we need to do is go ahead and click Next. SolidWorks will again update the model, and it'll give you a side-by-side -side preview. Now, if we go in and take a look at this, you'll notice that that flange actually has been simplified to the point where the inside diameter of the pipe has actually been suppressed, further simplifying the model. And if we look at the back side, we can see that that hole for that drain that we chose not to include has been suppressed as well. So you have complete control over what you want or don't want to include. You get one final opportunity to remove any additional items if you want to, but I'm pretty happy with what we have right here. So we're going to go ahead and click Next, and the last step is to simply save this as an SAT file. This is a neutral file format which can be used in a variety of different design software uh, such as plant layout or building design software. Once you're done, you can email that file off. It also retains all the custom properties that were included in here as well. So you have the specific metadata that you're looking for. So as you can see, SOLIDWORKS 2015 really allows you to collaborate
collaborate outside of the traditional mechanical design environment. 